Hey there, this is Ed Herzog with ElementorServices.com and today I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram link and bio landing page using Elementor. So let's first briefly talk about the problem that we're trying to solve here. So as you may know with Instagram, you're only allowed one link. That link goes right here in your bio. These posts here that you put on Instagram cannot have a link in them. Even a page like The Guardian, you know, the famous newspaper from England, they've got 4.6 million followers they cannot put links in any of these posts. So they can't link to the full or news article they're put, that they're posting about right here. What often people do, you've probably seen this on Instagram, is they'll often say, link in bio, link in bio, link in bio. The problem is, of course, you still only have one link. So let's say you have a store and you have multiple products and you just say, link in bio, link in bio, link in bio. You only have this one link up here. So where are you going to send people with that link? So services like Linktree were designed to solve this problem. As you see, even the Guardian uses Linktree. So what you can do is you put down here in the post, link in bio, and then somebody clicks right there. And now you see you have a long list of links. Here, the way the Guardian is using Linktree is that they have links to all these different articles on their website. So if I were to click on one of these, this would go to that article on the Guardian website. Of course, this is just one way that you can use something like Linktree. But you see, this is a fairly simple landing page. We can very easily recreate something like this within Elementor, which is what we're going to do in this tutorial. So you see here that I've set up for myself this small little landing page within Linktree that I can use on Instagram. You see here, I've got my photo, I've got a little headline, I have a small bio, I have a couple links there, one to my YouTube channel and one to my website. And if I click here on that link there. This is a desktop version, so it looks pretty similar, but here I also have a link to what's up and a link to my email address. So this is basically what we're going to try to recreate within Elementor. Now you may be wondering, well, why not just use Linktree? Why bother doing this in Elementor? Well, there are a few reasons for that. First of all, what I'm using here is the free version. You see the free version comes with their branding on it. Why have their branding on something that I can easily create myself within an Elementor? To remove that branding, I've got to pay $6 a month, so $72 a year, which is more than the cost of an Elementor Pro license, for example. So for me, that doesn't make much sense. Secondly, Elementor is simply much more powerful. You know, even with a paid version of Linktree or similar services, there's a limit to what you can do. If you've used Elementor, you know, you can design a landing page that is a lot more powerful than anything you can do within something like Linktree. And you see small things too, small details right here. This photo is not clickable. In Elementor, I can make this photo clickable and per, for example, direct people to my homepage if I wanna do that on my website. Here, when, I, when it came to this headline and this short little bio, I was really limited in terms of the number of characters I could use. In Elementor, I'm not limited in that. If I wanna have a longer headline, I can do that. If I wanna have a longer bio, I can do that. Here in Linktree, I can't do that. So again, Elementor is less expensive to use and also much more powerful. And you won't have Linktree's branding on your landing page. So I have this new page I just started within the Elementor Services website. I started for this demonstration. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna turn this into a Canvas page. So I'm gonna come down here click on this gear icon that says settings, and then come here to page layout and go with Elementor Canvas. That'll get rid of the header and the footer because those are things that I do not want in this landing page. So I'm gonna start by recreating here the desktop version of this landing page, and then I'm going to go and make it mobile friendly, which is the most important part because obviously most of your traffic is going to come from mobile. You'll get some traffic from desktop, but not as much. And by the way, I'm going to do this simple landing page first, and then we'll talk a little bit about how to extend this and some of the other things you can do within Elementor to make this even fancier if you want to. Now I'm gonna start with a background. As you see, this here is a gradient background. So this here is darker than this here. And I don't know exactly how this they set this up. You know, I don't know the exact features. This is just one of the templates I had that I chose for this particular uh, exercise, but I'll get it close enough. I and mean, it doesn't have to be 100%, uh, a 100% duplication of this. So I'm gonna come over here and go ahead and click there and add a section with a single column and then come here to style and click on gradient. And first color I'm going to enter in 4B, 4C, 54. And then for the second color, 8E, 8F, 
and 90. And then we'll play around with this a little bit, uh, change the location a little on that, location a little on that, and you know we have a gradient background that is basically gray, grayish white. So the next step is I want to add this photo here. So I'm going to come over here and I already add that photo into my media library. So I can just drop this image in here and click here and add that photo therein. So now I obviously need to make it smaller and make it circular in size and shape. So uh, size I want to go here is a custom size. I'm going to go 100 by 100 and go ahead and apply that and then come to style and come down to border radius and again go with 100 and that looks pretty similar to what we have right there. So that is done. Now what I want to do is add in this kind of title and the bio underneath it. So I'm going to take this heading widget here, drop it in underneath the image and put in the text, learn how to use Elementor. center it, come over here to style, make it white. And I'm not sure which font they used over here for this here. This is Roboto. I'm just going to stick with the Roboto. But I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. We'll take it down to an 18. So I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to add in that text. So come here and drop in a text editor widget. And the text there is check out my website for my various Elementor services. So check out my website for my various Elementor services. Okay. Again, what I want to do is I want to make this centered and obviously change the text color there. Gray doesn't show up, make it white. And I think that looks pretty good. I think that, you know, again, it's not 100% the same, but it's similar enough. So I've got that. And now I need to come over here and add in these two buttons uh, underneath the text. So come over here and I want to drop an intersection widget in here underneath that text. And then I'm going to put an icon widget in each of those sections. So put one in here and one right there. And this one I want to be what's up. Insert that. And then here for mail, we're going to use an envelope. Let's use that one right there. Go ahead and insert it. And come over here. And I want to make this one right aligned. And this one here, I want to make left aligned. And I want to make these a little smaller. So come over here to style. I'm going to make it 30 pixels. And the same thing for this here. Come over here, make it 30 pixels. And I want to make both of these white. So I'll come over here and make that one white. And do the same with this here. Okay, so now I have the basic style set up here. Now I want to set up the links because these do, you know, obviously I want this to link to WhatsApp and this one to link to, to the mail. So I'll do that next. So to set this up, we're going to use a pro feature called action links. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro, then perhaps you don't want to put something like a WhatsApp button or an email link within your landing page. But let's go ahead and take a look at how to set this up. So I'm going to click here again on the icon and under here under link, I'm going to click on dynamic tags. I'm going to scroll down and here under actions, I want the one that says contact URL. Then come here and I'm going to come here to the wrench and under type, I'm going to go with what's up. And then here I will enter my phone number. If you want to send me a what's up, that right there is my official phone number. And so now I have that set up. So if somebody clicks on that, that will open up what's up. Uh, coming here to email, again, I want to do the same thing. So come here and go dynamic tags, come down here to contact URL. And again, this wrench here and I want email and type in my email address, ed at elementorservices.com. Here I can pre-populate a subject and a message. I don't want to do that. So I'll just leave it the way it is. And so now that's set up. So if somebody clicks on this, 
here. It'll go to what's up. If they click on here, it will uh, open up an email box where they can send me an email directly to ed at elementorservices.com. Now the final step in terms of adding content to this landing page is to create these two buttons here. So you see I have two transparent buttons with a white border and then when I hover over them the background turns white. So let's go ahead and set those up. So I'll come back over here and let me go ahead and add a button in here. And first thing I want to do is justify this. Let me take a look. That is a bit too wide. So let me come up here to the section settings and make this about 750 pixels. That looks a lot better in terms of width. And now let me go ahead and edit this. I'll come over to style and come here to this color. And I can just keep that color and to make it transparent, I just move that all the way down and now it is transparent. And then I wanna add a border. So I'll go solid, make it one pixel and make it a white border. And then I want to change the color of the font there, the color of the text. So click there and make this white. And then I want to put in the hover effect. So I will come here to the background color and make that white. And then I want to make the text color a grayish color. Bring this over here, maybe right about there. Take a look here. That yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, we still want to change the text here on this. So this said YouTube channel. And then I can come here and duplicate that. And this said my website. Okay, so I've got these two buttons set up. I obviously want to add the links in as well. I don't know the link to my YouTube channel because it's often a very strange link. Uh, it's what YouTube gives you. Uh, for my website, I just add in elementorservices.com. So this is basically the content. Now I do want to do a few things here with the layout because obviously this is way too small. You don't want all this white space at the bottom. You know, if you have more content, then you wouldn't have that problem. But if you have a small page here like I have set up, then you'll want to add some spacing here on the section. So I'll come over here to advance it. And I also want to put some spacing up here. So let me click off the link values together and go 250 there and on the bottom about 230 and let's slide out there. So it's pretty good. I mean, it's not 100% like that one right there. Again, I could spend more time, tweak it, make it look more like that. I mean, there's nothing uh, magical about how it looks on Linktree, uh, but that is roughly the same. Again, I could get rid of some of the space there. Uh, that right there, you know, those are bigger and or at least taller so I could make these taller here But in general, I have recreated this here for the desktop version But of course we need to look at mobile too So let's now take a look at how this page here that I've created looks on mobile So let's take a look and see what this page looks like on mobile. So come over here click on that And then come over here Okay, so in general, this looks okay. I mean, the one big problem here are these two buttons. We don't want them to look like that. Now, what we can do here, one option would be, if you remember for the Linktree version of this, they didn't have those buttons. They only appeared on the desktop version. So I could just delete this. That would get rid of the problem right there. The other option would obviously be to stack these one on top of the other. And alignment, fortunately, is a mobile uh, option. So I can put that one right there and then come down here and put that one right there. And so now it looks good on mobile as well. Again, I might wanna play around here with some of the spacing, uh, maybe add a little more spacing between this here and where these buttons come in. Uh, again, eliminate some of the space between those two. But in general, you know, this is what you're looking for. And again, this is very easy to set up within Elementor. You don't need a tool like Linktree or a similar tool to do something like this, to create a landing page from Instagram to your various links. So the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is how to extend this landing page and perhaps make it more complex, more interesting. Linktree and similar services, as you see here, create very simple landing pages. And they're nice, you know, they have a certain functionality about them, but you can do a lot more in Elementor. You know, some simple things, some things more complex. So again, as I said at the outset, if I want, I could link this image to my homepage, or I could link it to 
my YouTube channel. You know, kind of a little secret link that some people may click on and it may add some value. I could do some simple styling things. I could add a divider in here if I wanted to add a divider between those two texts, you know, between the kind of title and the bio there. I could do that if I want to. I could add in, you know, colorful social icons. I can add in a Google map. Again, you have all these different widgets within Elementor that you can put in here and make this more interesting, make it more complex. Of course, you still really want to focus on links because that is, you know, what your goal is here. Again, the whole point here is to create a link in bio page. Um, but again, you can add additional things, you know, just scrolling down here. If you want to add a Facebook button, Facebook embed, uh, et cetera, you can do that. You know, you look here, this here is a third party chat widget that I have on my website. This, as you see, is talk to, uh, you know, I can have that here. I can't have that on this page here. Okay. Another thing, let me shut that, close that for a second. Uh, you know, as you know, I do things on YouTube. So again, I could add in videos. I could add, you know, videos in here. I can also, they now have the video playlist widget. So I could add in playlists in my videos here if I want to do that. If you're a blogger, you've got the post widget. So you can add in your posts here and style that. And, you know, you can set that up dynamically so that updates as you have new, new posts on your blog. So you could do that. Uh, if you sell things and you have WooCommerce set up on your website, you could add in product images and again, set things up dynamically. You know, you have so many more options here within Elementor that you simply do not have within a tool like Linktree. And again, Linktree, while not expensive, is $6 a month to remove the branding and which I would definitely want to do in a case like this. $72 a year, you know, you can buy Elementor Pro for less than that. Uh, because, uh, you know, some of the things I'm talking about here do require Elementor Pro. So again, think about what you want on a page like this and then, you know, add it in. Don't limit yourself just to what you see on a simple landing page like this. Make sure that this sort of link and bio Instagram page works for you and works for your business. So. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope you found it uh, helpful. If you do want to upgrade to Elementor Pro, I will put a link down in the video description below. If you buy via that link, it gives me a little bit of money and allows me to continue to create 100% free content. I will also put a link down below to the Elementor Services website. I have a variety of different services to help you with Elementor. So again, my name is Ed Herzog, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.